When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, my first reaction was just dumbfounded. I just couldn't believe it. I don't think I even cried because I was just so stunned at the result. I never expected that this would ever be anything that I would have to face in my life. When I was initially diagnosed, um, again, I was so stunned, I, I, I couldn't believe the situation I was in. And so I was basically paralyzed. I couldn't think. But because I had my sister, my daughter, my husband, family members around me who literally were my brain at the time, they were able to say, okay, we've got this diagnosis, now here's what we need to do next. And we sprung into action. So um, I was very grateful for my family and for my friends who had the presence of mind to be proactive um, and help move me forward in my treatment and in my recovery. I think the biggest challenges were the ones in my head. Um, the little voices that tried to be negative and tried to make me think negatively and tried to um, make me feel fear. Um, I think those were the biggest challenges, the what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. When you think there's a possibility that you could die, <laughs> you just appreciate life that much more. You take every moment as precious and you are purposeful about living out loud and you're purposeful about living your life to the full extent. So therefore you do everything you can possibly, humanly possibly do to make sure that you're here for the long haul. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, I'm a professional, and before my cancer diagnosis, I felt like I was living the best of life. But then I thought it all came to a halt when I got my cancer diagnosis, but it didn't. I enjoyed spending time with my family, traveling, playing with my new grandchildren. Um, I was having a blast, and then I was diagnosed. I was so fortunate that I never had to make a decision between my job and my health. The president of this university, board members, my colleagues, my staff, they all said, take your time, take all the time you need to heal and be whole again. So I never once worried about not having a job because I had to go through breast cancer treatment. Some people aren't that fortunate, but I was. There used to be a time back in the days that when you hit your 50s, 60s, and 70s, that you were already making arrangements for your funeral because people thought that was old. Nowadays, people are living longer. So it's up to us as women to take responsibility for our health. Make sure that we get those yearly breast exams. Do your self breast exams. Make sure that you have the yearly diagnostics that you're supposed to. Eat healthily, exercise, get your rest. And you know what? Keep your faith. Keep your faith because if you don't have hope in yourself, then it's a done deal. Keep hope alive. Keep hope in yourself and know, um, know that this life is yours. It's given to you to be lived out loud, positively, full of love, full of life, and to be lived to the fullest. I know it's just the hand of God who surrounded me with a village of people, family, friends, co-workers, who were here to keep me lifted up during this entire process. And so it's so important to have that village and to lean on those um, in your immediate circle um, because believe it or not, it is God caring for you. It's God healing you. It's a part of your healing process. For me, I was fortunate to have a team of doctors who were very knowledgeable, who were responsive, who were diligent um, about my treatment. At every pass, they told me what was happening. 
They told me what the outcome was more than likely going to be, and they were confident in the outcomes. So I would say, do not think that because you have a breast cancer diagnosis that it's a death sentence for you. It's not. It's not something that God is punishing you for. It's not something that you're a victim of. It's just a life experience that you're moving through. You really have to listen to your body. Watch what you eat, exercise, get your rest, and for goodness sake, please, 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 get your annual diagnostic testing done. I can't say thank you enough to the community of people that truly embraced me as I was going through this process. I know it was simply the hand of God and the love of God who put all of these people in place to make sure that I had a full and successful recovery. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.